Hello everyone, Psychics here, and welcome to another episode of Going Medieval. Yes, 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 it is time. It is time for the raid. And as you can see up here in our right-hand corner, the enemies are coming. It's imminent, so we're... Anytime now, they, they could be popping up. Now, what I'm excited for, well, sort of excited for, is going to be whether or not they're actually going to funnel in through these fences right here i know that the back portion over here is not fenced off but i'm kind of hoping that they will come from this side over here or from somewhere down here and then get kind of funneled in here now when it comes to our own people and, and their attacking skills most of them mo much most of them are archers so uh we don't really have anybody who's proficient in in the melee combat so that's that's gonna be interesting, yeah, for sure. Well, let's uh let, let's jump into it, shall we, and and see what we need to get done. So on the building side, we are uh, we started to build some some brick or stone buildings over here, and um, yeah, that's progressing quite well. We have our our guys out here, Heyman and Grimbold. They're mining. Grimbold is a is a new addition, uh, I believe. Him or Heyman, one of those two are actually the uh, the reason for the. The raiders who are coming. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, it's it's Grimbold. Let's see how many people. Um, oh sorry, that's the wrong one. We've got six enemies. Six enemies are coming for him. All right, let's get ready to battle here. Um, okay, so they don't have any ranged weapons. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. Um, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Get our archers at the ready. Have them move over there. Have our melee combat guys move over here. Actually, I guess ideally our archers could take pick up a position up there all right here we go come on Grimbolt we need you over here buddy we need you over here Okay, this is not this is not looking too good. Oh no, Melee's down. Get him guys, get him. Okay, that's a weird thing that they came for their our pyre. But hey, that's okay, but it's okay with me. If that's if that's what they feel like doing. Shoot him! Shoot him, guys! Shoot him! I get that dude. There we go. There we go. We won. We won. We won. Um, I think yeah, my guy is still all right. Let's uh, let's just tell him to chill. Oh wait a minute, kill this dude. Yeah, don't let don't let this guy just get on out of here. Stop celebrating. Get him. Get him. Mordred. You had the chance. You had your chance, Mordred. You could have left in peace. Actually, you could just have never come here. Alright, let's make sure that they pick up this stuff right here. So, um, do like this. Boom, boom. Maybe these guys have... Some useful stuff for us. Maybe they don't. Usually they don't really have any quality stuff. Now I've heard somewhere that um, in order to avoid getting attacked by trebu trebuchets, trebu trebuchets, um, you should not start. You should not start. You shouldn't start building um, 
you shouldn't start building like massive walls uh, because apparently it's a game mechanic where the, uh, the the trebuchets will start to come when you have large walls and towers and stuff. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I, I wish I could say we'll see, but we definitely won't see in this episode because for now the focus is getting these two buildings here built up. So I think what we have here are smelting furnaces uh, and I actually cannot fully remember what it was I'm building right here. Um, I know, I know, it's 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 been a week or maybe even two since I've actually last played the game. So, yeah, you're gonna hear me rambling a lot about I don't remember what exactly my plans were. Anyway, um, let's see if, uh, hopefully, I think it's Mr. Perez82 who's our main caretaker. So I'm, I'm hoping once he's done praying that he's gonna go take care of some wounds. It does not appear to be the case, so Heyman, you're probably gonna die, my man. All right, let's let's see who is actually in critical condition. Yes, it's me. Uh, bruised chest and a mild concussion. Well, I'm not bleeding, so it's nothing too bad. I think Heyman might be. Yeah, we've got Schubert, Peter, Heyman, and Grimbold are all bleeding. See anybody? Well, not losing any blood. Here we go. Heyman is losing blood from minor lacerations. I think he'll survive until somebody takes care of him. Uh, Peter only has a ah, uh, yeah, he has a bruised arm and a bruised chest, and Schubert just has a bruised rib. So I think they're all gonna make it out fairly well. All right, and this thing down here, I think that's our wine making is complaining that we don't have any wine. Or any berries, but it, they will come. They will come. So we've got Heyman and Grimbold working up here in our little mine, and they're uh, mining the heck out of it in order for us to get the uh, sufficient amount of limestone that we need for our buildings over here that Melee 86 is currently filling up so we can get our smelting furnace going. Um, and again, I can't fully remember why, I, well, I know it's uh, it's a part of the progression, but there's something that I needed the smelting furnaces for. I need, I need some iron, and with that I can start producing hopefully better weapons, and also I think a new research bench so I can get into some more advanced research and of course upgrade more of our nice little settlement here. Um, yeah, and, and so far we're still sticking with this sort of very close together we have our living quarters right here now last episode i was mentioning that hopefully at some point uh instead of everyone having two beds well psychics does not have two beds yet but if we get a uh, another settler coming in there's going to be two beds in here as well but i do uh, i i do think that i do think ah <laughs> yeah so you can't remember what you're thinking can you um no but my plan is um I think this area over here is going to be uh, some new living quarters and um, of course those are going to be built in stone so yay lucky lucky new settlers who, uh, who get to live over here and other than that I, I still have a plan of of building myself and a, a tower not a uh, a large tower or a tall tower but just a tar tower where our arches can sort of get up and uh, and get some elevation so once, when these guys come around, they can start just raining arrows down on them. But we'll see how that goes. All right, let's see what else we have here. Oh, I'm up and about. Schubert is uh, over here. Looks like he's either drinking or eating. That's very typical Schubert. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Cool beans. Cool beans indeed. And I think people are just about... Oh. They're all having a little party over here, playing some backgammon. Grimbold v. Peter, Psychics v. Schubert. Or if you can see, I don't know, can't actually see them playing, per se. They're just scratching their heads like, uh, what the heck is this game? Uh, how do you play, dude? I don't know. Do you? Nope. But, uh, yeah, they're getting, uh, they're getting close to bedtime. So they, they can get up early and have a long day of hard manual labor tomorrow and up rise and shine ladies and gentlemen 
rise and shine. Well, ladies, we only have one lady and a lot of guys. Um, so unfortunately, there's no real difference in like the, the stats or the abilities. Or it doesn't matter too much whether it's a male or a female character. Maybe that's something that will change with uh, with future updates. You never know. You never know. I would like actually to see this game, you being able to um, have, well, I wouldn't say families per se, but but actually have people, I was about to say hook up, but I guess it is sort of hooking up, but people pairing up and, and maybe having kids, that would actually be a cool thing. Because the way it works right now, for you to get new people, you sort of, at least to my experience, is you sort of just wait and then... Some random event happens and a, a person will appear and either they bring raiders along or it's like, oh, I'm injured and hurt and I just want refuge. And then you can grant them refuge and you have a new person. And I don't know if it's time-based or whatever, but we'll see. I mean, we've got a fair, uh, a decent amount of people here. So hopefully at one point we'll get to the magical number of, of 10 settlers or villagers, I think. This, I don't know how much of a settlement this is. This is more... This is becoming into... A, starting to become a small village. See how the mine is doing. Oh, nice. Grimbolt just leveled up when it came to mining. Alright. So, we're at that point now where they might have done what I feared. Uh, which I, I think I mentioned it in the last episode where they start mining all the areas where they're supposed to be able to walk. So I'm not sure that these guys are actually able to move out here to the side next to uh, to the fence here and actually exit, which is a bit of an issue um, in terms of they'll, they'll keep on mining, but then of course they'll also fall asleep out here, uh, which isn't too bad because nothing can sort of hurt them. But they won't be able to get any food, and then their mood will change dramatically. So, yeah, we'll we'll see. We will see. I don't know if there's enough room here along the fence for them, actually, because I, I think they need, like, an entire block of space to be able to move anywhere. So, yeah, that, that'll be interesting. That will be interesting for sure. So, yeah, the, the idea was to get the... Um, get the, uh, the stairs going down right here and uh, oh wait oh they okay yeah see that's one of the things I, I don't always comprehend about this game is although we have a fence they can sort of just slide right down through it so I'm guessing it's not too much of an issue so my, my fears were unwarranted alright who is still hurt oh he has a whipped back yeah, I know how you feel, Grimbold. I know how you feel. See what all the other guys and girls are doing? No one is producing wine. Uh, we don't really have a ton of berries, though. We've got plenty of deer carcasses. So, hopefully at some point... Where is he at? There he is. Hopefully at some point, Master Chef Schubert here will cook up some food. For the rest of, of the gang. Let's see. Let's see. Are you going to create food? Oh, yes he is. He is uh, He's definitely cooking up some food. Right. So I actually think that is what... Why I was, I was building this part over here. Uh, was I wanted to... Well, I was about to say craft a stove. It's not really a stove, but it's a cooking place. Um, so let's see if we can get this going. What do we want to produce? We want... We want some iron. Yep. Let's do that, and... Yeah, let's just go with 10. Let's just go with 10. Now, of course... Where is it? Oh, this is a salt mine, right? Yep, that's a salt mine. I believe... Yeah, we have some iron over here. I have that stupid wolf roaming about, so let's send somebody out to take care of him or her. 
Oh, we got another wolf here. Maybe uh, put that on the hunting list as well. Maybe it's the same. Oh. Not that the wolves are a, uh, a big issue per se. I haven't really had too much trouble with them. But um, we do have a couple of, of, of people in our little village here that aren't proficient in hunting. Uh, looks like Mr. Perez, though, is, is out and about. He's ready to go shoot himself a wolf. So let's see how he does. Uh, that was... How is his marksman skill going up when he misses? That... Oh, Wolfie, you're, uh... That was a bad move. You shouldn't have gone up there. Oh, there we go. Nice hit. Nice hit, Mr. Perez. Now, luckily, the wolf hasn't attacked him yet because his uh, melee skill is really, really bad. So, the thing is, though, once... Uh, some animals, when you shoot at them, they'll they'll attack you. Mostly the wolves, of course. And once they get too close to you, they can't use their bows, so they start punching them, which of course seems legit, right? I was like, oh, I'm trying to hunt down a wolf, so let me start punching it. Ah, there we go, Perez. How about taking care of that second wolf too? No, really? I'm just gonna run out here, get close to that number. Okay. All right, well, I guess that's that's how hunting is done. See how the mind is progressing. Yeah, come on, you guys. Can't you just... Let's, uh... All right. Heyman, get this. Get this out of the way and we can build ourselves a staircase. Then we are one step closer to our ultimate mining project. Alrighty, Heyman actually dug out that uh, little corner spot right there. And now we, I think Melee might be on her way over here at some point. And she's going to build our little staircase here. So these miners are going to be able to come down to this part right here and we've definitely got a little bit of everything down here so that's cool it's going to be looks like this is going to be a pretty good mine all right let's see what everybody else is doing schubert is uh, still trying to cook some food and what is melee is she crafting clothes i believe could be and uh yeah me myself and i i am apparently taking a nap all right, it is morning time, and Melee86 has started work on the staircase over here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm kind of excited. I know I've been rambling on about this mine uh, throughout most of this episode right here, but I am actually kind of excited to see, once we get down like a, a layer deeper, to see if we can start tunneling. Uh, because it def definitely looks like we've got more limestone pockets over here. They might only be surface deep. But I doubt it. I doubt it. We'll see though. We will see though. Otherwise, uh, this could be the start of our underground... I was about to say cave system, but it's not really going to be a cave system. More like a, a cellar. So underground or a dungeon. Even better. Uh, once... I know that there's been talks about uh, the, the game implementing the ability to capture people. So at that point, you definitely need a dungeon. Yeah, you'd, you'd need a dungeon for sure. And that would be pretty cool if you could capture people and either make other sides pay ransom for them. Or perhaps you could, I don't know, quote unquote, convert them to say, all right, hey, I want to join you guys because uh, you seem pretty cool and... and I mean, yeah, you killed all of my buddies, so do I really have any choice? All right, uh, let's see what everybody's doing. I am, uh, I'm apparently, I'm done napping, and I've started work on some studying. Mr. Perez is doing what he's good at. He's actually moving stuff from one place to another, which is surprisingly a very important part of the game. If you don't have anyone moving stuff from one place, uh, part of, of the map or the settlement to another, it's just going to rot up. So definitely 
when you play this game, make sure that you have people who are transporters. And not in the Jason Statham kind of transporter, but just a regular, let me put this basket on my back and, and transport stuff. Alright, let's see. Um, see, hopefully on the next dig or so, the next square, these guys will actually move down the stairs instead. Um, nope, they, they, nope, sure, sure, no, nope, nope, they did not want to do that. All right, well, you guys just crack on, aha, crack on with what you're doing right there. Now, some of you are wondering why it says research available and I haven't done anything about it. It's because there isn't really, I mean, when we look at research, yes, I can go with some clay bricks, but I don't really need any of those right now. Or I could go with decor decorative banners, but yeah, I don't, I don't really need those either right now. So I'm waiting until my research gets to 30. Then we're going to start looking at either, um, we're going to look at a cooking. That, that's probably going to be the one that we're, we're going to go for cooking right here. So, or, uh, yeah, cooking is going to be number one. And then we're going to go with the armor at at number two and then fletching will be number three and defensive structures is our fourth thing unless and, and knowing myself i could be going for blacksmithing instead of going the whole fletching route because that gives us the ability to create some short swords for the people who are not archers and that would be kind of cool that would be kind of cool indeed all right looks like the rain is starting to come in Look at him go. He's not happy. He's not happy. He loves to mine, so he's he's definitely not happy that I I set him sent him to do wood chopping. There you go. Nice. Good work, Heyman. Good work. We got Schubert out here. Doing some gardening. Look at him go. Look at him go. I'm kind of surprised that uh, Mr. Perez, since he's our top mover, so to speak, our top transporter, that he... Oh, great. A heat wave. The workers needed shade. Well, I mean... Oh. What's the temperature like? 17 degrees Celsius? That's not it. Okay, it is. It is going up. It is going up. Yeah, so one of the things that will uh, that will definitely make your settlers unhappy is if you don't have anything for them to drink, which unfortunately is sort of my issue right now. As you can see, I do have the uh, the red current bushes here, and some of them are also ready to be harvested. And oops, wrong button. And I also have the facilities right here to make rough wine. But, I don't have anyone to actually produce the wine, or nobody has prioritized it as of yet. I think what's going to happen, though, once they're done with, uh, with our little mining thing over here, they're going to move on to the next thing in their task list. And hopefully, hopefully that will be gather up some resources. Otherwise, fingers crossed here, maybe Schubert will actually uh, start harvesting some of the stuff over here. Now, if Mr. Perez would just run on out here and get this wood pile, then that would be that would be awesome as well. All right, so we got three people mining. It's very much a uh, mining settlement, apparently that that we have ourselves right here. It is a uh, very much a mining settlement. Let's go in for a closer look at these hardworking guys. Let's go check. Schubert is still still doing stuff right there. Oh, Mr. Perez tended to my wounds. Why, thank you very much, Mr. Perez. I am grateful for that. And Mei Li is uh, over here doing... Well, sounds like carpentry. Or is that... Oh, no, it's Mr. Perez. Man, he is really putting in his work today. He is really putting in his work today. All right, Perez, let's see you get this done. 
Very nice. Very nice. Settlers are suffering suffering from excessive heat. Yeah, I'd imagine. You got 30 degrees Celsius outside, and everybody is working. Who is it who keeps getting wounded? Schubert. It's like Schubert isn't capable of picking some vegetables without hurting himself. Come on, Schubert. What's up with that? What is up with that? Let's see. The, is Perez actually going to finish the roof as well? Oh, oh. Well, well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Or is he just logging stuff around? I think Melee's going for a snack there. Yep. He's going to join Mr. Perez over here in our dining hall. Is Schubert going to join them too? Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah, Mr. Perez wanted no part of that. It's like. Hell no! I gotta go back to work! Here we go, here we go! Nice! And the room is done. Except for one thing, which is... Why has no one so far gone in here and just said, Alright, let me remove this bush. Come on, that's gonna be you. It's gonna be you, Perez. It's on you, man. You've done such a great job in here, so... You should do this. This is, this is yours. Alright, oh, we just need somebody to come in here and uh, build this limestone floor. Is it going to be Melee 86? No, she, uh... Ah, okay, she's getting ready to build the support beam over here. Also very cool, also very cool. Alright, it's getting late. Yes, dear carcass. Dear carcass is rotted. Schubert, man, you got to step up your uh, your food production here. But don't worry, man. I am trying to build you a kitchen. The dream kitchen, or the kitchen of your dreams, so to speak. You can just mass-produce food. You can have your own restaurant. Shoebirds. Come here to eat tacos. Although, uh, I'm not even sure that these guys would ever know what a taco is. Alright, guys. It's, it's 10 o'clock. You can go to bed now. You can go to bed. Heyman. I love the enthusiasm, buddy. But you also need your you also need your sleep. You also need your sleep. Oh, there you go. There you go. Alright. Alright, let's see. Everybody else gone to sleep? Not yet. What are you guys doing? It's ten o'clock. Go to sleep. Look at it's man, Mr. Perez. What an episode for you. What an episode for you, Mr. Perez. You've really put in some work. You have really put in some work. All right. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else watching, that's going to cut it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far, consider subscribing, leaving a like or a comment. Otherwise, well... We'll see you in the next one. For now, this has been Sidekicks.